Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about static pressure, dynamic pressure and total pressure. So we are going to learn about three types of pressure like three terminology one is known as static pressure, one is known as dynamic pressure and the last one is known as total pressure. Okay. So the purpose of understanding these three different terminology is because this will help us in understanding how the air speed is measured. Okay. When we are talking about air aircrafts, it is very important to measure the air speed of the aircraft. Okay. So to understand the basics of the air speed, we must first understand these terms what is static pressure, total pressure and dynamic pressure. Okay. So static pressure is nothing but let us say so there is any surface. Now there is a fluid element which is lying here. Okay. Now this fluid is not moving with any particular velocity. So this V is 0. This V is 0. Okay. So as this fluid element is not flowing, so this is moving randomly here and there something like here, it moves here, then it comes here, then moves here, then here. So randomly it is moving here and there. Okay. So the pressure which this fluid element is putting on this surface. Okay. So this the pressure which this fluid because it is moving randomly here and there. So all these fluid elements the pressure at the which these fluid elements are exerting on this surface is known as static pressure is known as static pressure. Okay. So this is what is known as static pressure. Now we will understand what is total pressure. Now let us say uh, let us again consider the surface uh, okay. so let us consider some tube and now we have a lot of fluid elements. Okay, this could be gas, this could be liquid and these are flowing. These are flowing in one particular direction. Now since these are flowing, now they are moving in this direction and also there is some random movement here and there also, something here and there. Okay. So due to this, so basically we have two action, one is this random movement here and there and then we have this mass like this mass movement of the fluid element. Okay. So now let us say there is a wall. Now, now when we have this wall and all the fluid elements come and stop here, they will apply the pressure on the wall, they will apply the pressure on the wall. Now this, wall, this pressure will be known as total pressure. This pressure can be is known as total pressure. Okay. The total pressure includes the pressure exerted due to this mass movement as well as this random movement as well. Okay. So this random movement pressure was basically static pressure. This was static pressure and now static pressure plus the pressure due to this mass movement is known as total pressure. Okay. Now we can uh, understand this by taking an example. Let us take an anal analogy. Let us say you are driving a car and there is a B inside the car. Okay. Now this B is moving here and there randomly and the car is moving at some velocity say 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now you are also sitting inside, you are also sitting inside and driving the car. Right? and this b is also moving okay now you are observing the b you are sitting inside and you are driving and you are also observing the b that the b is moving here and there here and there now this movement is analogous to static pressure this is analogous to static pressure now let's say you open the window you have opened the window and there is a man standing on the street and this B moves out and it hits the hits that man. So that force that this man will experience, he will 
experience a strong force right a strong impact the b was also moving at 60 kilometers per hour so because of this it had some momentum so this impact will be due to the momentum of the b uh, due to the 60 km per hour of the speed plus the random moment here and there so this is analogous to total pressure right so now i i hope you can differentiate what is the difference between total pressure and static pressure okay now the difference between total pressure total pressure minus static pressure this difference will basically gives you the measurement of this velocity and this is known as dynamic pressure so this is written as pt minus p is equal to p dynamic see static pressure is the most common term whenever we talk about pressure like right now you must be sitting somewhere and listening to this video the atmospheric pressure which you are feeling which you are experiencing is nothing but the static pressure static pressure okay and when you start moving when you start running then there is an additional pressure there is an additional pressure which is then dynamic pressure and let's say suddenly you strike a wall so the total pressure you exert on the wall will be known as total pressure so this is all about the total pressure static pressure and dynamic pressure and this is very much important like understanding the difference between these three is very important when we talk about air speed because the difference between total pressure and static pressure will give you the dynamic pressure which is basically nothing but the but the indication of air speed and it is also written as half rho v square where rho is the density of the fluid and v is the velocity of that fluid at which it was moving so the dynamic pressure the formula for dynamic pressure is half rho v square okay so i hope these concepts are clear thank you